Good morning and welcome to today's video from Yoker Evangelical Church. It's Monday the 14th of June and in our Bible readings this morning we read from Isaiah chapter 46 and Revelation chapter 16. I'm going to take a look at Isaiah chapter 46 in this video because it is just such a clear message of God's absolute superiority over anything else that could be described as a God. So I want to begin um, with, I think, the question that turns up in verse 5 of chapter 46. If you haven't read the chapter yet, um, please pause the video, go and read it, pray about it, and then come back. But that question in chapter 46, verse 5, is basically, what other God could you possibly turn to? The question that is supposed to be ringing round our ears is, who else could you turn to? If you didn't have God, where would you look? And they set it out in verse 5 to verse 7. With whom will you compare me or count me equal? To whom will you liken me that we may be compared? Some pour out gold from their bags and weigh out silver on the scales. They hire a goldsmith to make it into a god and they bow down and worship it. They lift it to their shoulders and carry it. They set it up in its place and there it stands. From that spot it cannot move. Even though someone cries out to it, it cannot answer. It cannot save them from their troubles. Now, that is a wonderfully helpful passage to think about the superiority that God has. And we should remember that it is part of the Bible. It is God's word to us. And so these words should in some way challenge us. And yet as we remember that, we are meant to see the ridiculous scene being painted, right? It is it is a picture of people desperately looking for a God who, who gather together some gold that they have. They go and they pay someone to turn it into an idol that they can worship. And then they set it up in its place. They build a special room for it, a house, and they bow down and worship it. They carry it around with them. And yet it can do nothing to save them because it's a bit of gold. There's nothing there. It's just a bit of metal. Bowing down, worshipping it makes no sense. And it can do nothing to rescue them from the troubles, even when they cry out to it. We're supposed to see what nonsense it is to trust in anything else, to see the absolute foolishness of idolatry. And yet also recognise the real danger that this is for us. John Calvin, who was one of the leaders in the Protestant Reformation, he once said, the human heart is an idol factory. You and I, we are brilliant at creating things that we end up worshipping. If we were on mastermind, it could be our specialist subject, things that we can start to worship. And for some of us, I'm sure it could be actual idols of gold or silver. For others, it'll be traditions for others, it'll be position or reputation that we have. And like the gold in Isaiah's little example, these things can do nothing for us. And yet we can treat them like they are gods, things to be held up and worshipped. And yet they do nothing for us. Oh, what we need is the real deal. We need the God who doesn't need to be made by humans. He doesn't need to be made because he is the one who made everything, including us, including all the gold and all the silver. The God who doesn't need his image to be seen because he is the one who created everything. And after the foolish picture of worshipping gold, listen to how God talks about himself in verse 9. Remember the former things, those of long ago. I am God and there is no other. I am God and there is none like me. Go back to that question at the start. What other God could you possibly turn to? In light of those two things, the answer is none. There is nobody else that is worthy of our love and our worship. We need to be sure that we are trusting in him alone and checking our hearts for idols that threaten to distract us. I hope that you have a great day today and God bless.